Hi everyone. There is a general trend on the internet using UTM codes within your homepage and that is a very bad practice. I've seen a number of websites and what they do in order to track what their users are doing, how they are moving from one page to another, they tend to use UTM codes within their internal links and that is a very bad practice. In fact, what they are actually doing is they are creating new sessions every time a new UTM code is changed. So, in essence, you are creating multiple uh, sessions where actually you should be uh, considering them as one session all along. Long story short, just to make it easier for you, the best practice for yourself or your website in order to track visitor, uh, visitor clicks or to track your internal clicks on your own home pages uh, is to simply use event tracking. You could do that using Google Analytics event tracking and there is an easier way of implementing it using Google Tag Manager and this is what this video is all about. So let's get into it. For example, let me show you this demo web page where we have a page and a link on this page. As you can see, the link does not have any UTM codes and it should never have because this is your home page. And so how do you go about tracking this link? As I said earlier, the best way to do it is using event tracking. And here's the secret. You could do it using Google Analytic way, the very traditional way, but there is an easier way. And this is what I recommend. Here's the link, a simple href. What you need to do is add an ID to it and make this ID unique. That way you know which page it came from. So for the sake of, of this demo, we are going to start the ID, all the IDs with SF dash, and then something that gives an indication of what that page is about. So we can say it, my page. Perfect. That's how you start by making changes to your internal links so that when people click on those links, you can actually track them in Google Analytics. And now I'm going to move directly to Google Tag Manager and implement the tag which will do all the magic. It's a very simple. You start by going to your tags on the left and click on New and give your tag a name. Uh, the name that I will give is GAU, which stands for uh, Google Analytic Universal Tag dash clicks internal. This is the name of the tag. Now I start with the configuration of the tag. It's a universal uh, Google Analytic. Now the tracking ID, as from before, I do have a GA tracking ID, which is my ID for my Google Analytics saved as a variable. And now here's where it gets a little bit different. So the track type should be event because we are tracking events. And these are certain things that you need to fill out. Just for being descriptive, the category, I can choose it anything, but I'm choosing it as click. Uh, the action is internal clicks. And the label is click ID. This is a variable, a predefined variable in Google Tag Manager, and it's that basically the value of the ID where the link has been clicked. So in essence, it's going to give me back the SF dash my page. Great. Anything else? One more thing you need to be careful about you should make sure that it is a non interaction hit because you don't want it to affect your. Uh, number of page views. So I'm going to make this true. So non-interaction hit equal true. Perfect. That's about it. Now we go to the part which is the trigger. When do we want to trigger or fire that particular tag? 
let's click on this and we want to create a new one because this is a totally different uh, new trigger and I'm calling this trigger internal link click ID trigger now we are going to configure that trigger we want to make sure that this is of type click the trigger is of type click and it is just links and here where we say wait for tag I want to wait for 2000 milliseconds perfect and then I click on check validation and this is where you need to be careful first we're saying that the page URL should contain basically my domain name first of all so it's newsoon.com that's the first rule and when do we want this uh, trigger to be fired we want it to be fired on some link clicks based on this rule which is click ID starts with the magic two letter NS dash as you can see here oh sorry that was a mistake this should be NS which is just anything I wanted to make it short for new soon so anytime my ID starts with NS dash then I need to uh, capture that event click NSF NS dash that's it and save there you go I have everything ready just to double check this event type uh, the track type is event and the uh, tag will be fired uh, according to the trigger which we have just created there you go I will save it and there it is it's saved here under GAU tag clicks internal and I'm going to quickly preview it so now I'm in preview mode which means that if I refresh this page I will have the preview of the Google Tag Manager right below in this window I'm going to minimize it slightly so we can see what tags gets fired when so if I go ahead and click on this link as you could have seen very quickly for a very short duration but you could have seen it uh, it actually fired the internal clicks uh, tag which we have just created and this is how you would track it now how do you actually track it in Google Analytics let's go to Google Analytics go to new soon one way of tracking it is to actually go to the real time and you go to events last 30 minutes as you can see here I do have let me maximize this so you can see it clearly it says event category click it tells me it's an internal click and as you can see event label is ns-my-page this is how we know that this event has been fired from this particular link this is a very best practice and you should always do it this way try to stay away from using UTM codes because of the complications that it adds and the way it skews your data this is it for today's video with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics I hope you enjoyed it make sure you sign up for a free account with webock.com and always stay on top with the latest trends in web development have a great day bye bye